look, you have some travel coming up. You are headed to the airport. You want to be cute, but you also want to be comfortable. Don't you even worry about it, girl, because that's what I'm sharing here today. Cute, comfortable airport outfit ideas that are just as comfortable as your sweats or your leggings, but a little bit more chic. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, it is your girl Jordan of Little Miss JB Style, your pear shaped shorty style guru, engineer turned lifestyle content creator. If this is the first time you're hearing the news, you should go ahead and check out my video because girl, I am spilling the tea. But today, today's video is all about airport outfits because I will be going in and out of the airport at least four to six times this month because the travel is going to be real. I'm so excited to share with you guys. The travel content you already know I have a cruise coming up but i also booked a surprise trip at the end of the month as well another warm tropical vacation plenty of opportunities to wear color animal prints show off the yummy yams get some sun and relaxation so needless to say this video was just as much for me trying to figure out what i do plan to wear at the airport as it is for you i get it the struggle is real you want to be comfortable but you do want to look put together just in case there's that extra room in first class and you might see your future bay you know or you have to stun on an x or something right or you just want to land at your location ready to go and explore and not have to worry about changing outfits so there's tons of outfit inspiration for that again focusing on comfort because you know that for me a big part of my core style is about function but I like to think I put the fun and functional when it comes to my outfits so hopefully you are gonna get some inspiration on what to wear to the airport today as always my regular watchers you know the drill the links are in the description if there's a piece you are loving gotta have it I do not gatekeep I want you to look good because part of feeling good is looking good in what you're wearing and I already know what you're gonna ask JB JB we see the outfit like what are you wearing this set is a recent set. I actually got this on a crazy sale from ASOS. It is a leopard print matching set because you know I am a set girly at heart. And that is literally the perfect transition because let's get into what my first go-to outfit combo for the airport. That is a good matching set. Your girl loves a matching set on the days I just don't feel like it. On the days I just don't feel like having to put in a lot of effort, but I want like a maximum impact still like a bam, give the girls and the boys some whiplash when I walk by is a good matching set. So the very first one that I want to show you is this set from Lavish Alice. I got this last year. It is a neutral one, so this is for my neutral girlies who like that minimal, luxurious, quiet movement. No shame. As someone who does go back and forth between prints and colors and neutrals, I do love having a good neutral set. And this skirt set is so chic, and I absolutely could not recommend this enough because a good maxi skirt is trending right now. So this is super, super comfortable. And then you have the nice long sleeve. And what I love about this is there's just tons of ways that you can layer this to make this appropriate. This for me is just like the quintessential cool girl outfit. You could put on sandals if you needed to, if you're headed somewhere warmer, you can throw on some sneakers. Like this is something I would wear headed to like Baltimore or to New York, someplace where I know I'm gonna be out and about and in the city. So I can just get off the airport and instantly go. And when it comes to layering for the airport, I feel like just go with what makes the most sense for you and what is the most comfortable for me. Denim jackets always make the most sense. They're just so easy. They're so versatile, whether you want to do a longer style or a crop style because the crop style is going to show off the body. It's going to give you a little more boom, boom, boom a little more ooh, who is that cool girl, especially if you have one that feels like it's cropped and tailored just to your specific body. So I totally recommend if you're looking for a crop jacket to do a DIY because that's going to give you like the best fit, I feel like, versus trying to find a cropped one off the rack so again just go with the outer layer that works for you i feel like you could absolutely do like a cute cardigan or a long cardigan i just felt like that wasn't the vibe i was going for with this outfit now if skirts are not your thing for the airport i absolutely totally understand so another matching set i would recommend is this one from nakd it is colorful it is bright it is cozy and when i tell you like knit matching sets like this are replacing like the sweatpants and the leggings like if you don't know i actually got rid of all of my like super chill loungewear like the basketball shorts the sports bras the matching like sweat sets leggings like i used to wear all that like i used to wear all that especially back in college you would catch me outside in a legging oversized sweatshirt combo no problem as i got older and i really wanted to look a little bit more chic a little bit more put together I found that just matching knit sets are like the perfect solution. It gives you the comfort of like your sweatsuits and things like that, but it gives you that polish that you're looking for to be like put together, chic, like who is that girl a little bit of mystery? Like she always be looking good, but she always look comfortable. I feel like that's the fine line of like luxury we're all trying to walk. It's like, yeah, I want to look good and I want to look glamorous, but I also want to be comfortable in a knit matching set. 
it's the answer so again i paired these with some sneakers these are my new balance sneakers these are my favorite sneakers to wear to the airport simply because they're easy to get on and off i am all about ease when it comes to the airport like i'm wearing socks i'm making sure my stuff can be easily taken on and taken off Everything is easily accessible to get out of my bags because I did not come to play. I want to be in, I want to be through security, and I want to get to my gate and just hang out. I am that girl. Like, what about you? Are you someone who's like running through, rushing the last minute? You're not really prepared. What kind of airport girly are you? Let me know in the comments below. Then again, with the set like this, I feel like I would go with my cropped denim jacket. It just feels like it serves the body because obviously you see that we are serving yums in these pants. So why hide the view? Like, this is something I would wear probably more for an evening flight headed to a tropical destination, say like Mexico or California or Jamaica, but I'm going at night. So it's like, I know I'm gonna get there and it's gonna be a little bit chilly. So I want something that's gonna be cute and warm, but still on trend for where I'm headed. Then the last matching set, again, I'm a true matching set girl. So I have the skirts, I had the pants, and of course you should have known that the shorts were coming next. And this AFRM matching set literally gets so many compliments every time I wear it. The zebra print is so easy. And this is something that you can easily mix and match, which again feels so important to me as I pick clothes. It's not just about functional, but I love versatility. Like your girl is not about to waste her coins. If I buy something, it's something I know that I'm gonna wear for a long time and be able to wear and mix and match tons of ways outside of just like the original ways intended to wear. And this is just one of those sets that I absolutely love to do that with so this i wouldn't even bother layering i would just wear my socks and then some easy slippers these one are these ones are from h and i will say i tend to not wear sandals and slides to the airport because i'm really not a huge fan of like socks with sandals it's just i see the fashion girlies do it and i'm like yeah that's cute but it's just not it's just not for me it's just not a look that i'm it's just not a look for me but i do make a rare exception when it is the airport because i will not be putting my bare feet on the airport floor it's, it's a no, that's just an absolute no for me, not happening. So this is a really easy set that I would wear during the day, going from one hot destination to another. So say like going to Houston or Dallas, going to Miami, going maybe over like to Europe or something like that. This is the perfect throw on a go airport outfit. And what I love is the shorts are long enough for those of you who are a little concerned about your skin being on like the bare seat on the plane. The shorts on this are long enough that the back of your legs are covered. So you don't have to run that risk. But if you are really, really worried about it, go ahead and choose like a pants matching set instead because that's gonna give you like the most security for something like that. The next super easy no fail airport outfit that is just gonna be chic and elevated is a good dress, especially like for me, I find that I like more bodycon dresses, but the T is your girl does not like to feel uncomfortable. So if you see me wearing a dress that is fitted, know that it looks fitted but doesn't feel fitted like that is something that i cannot stress enough like one of the things i always hear is just like oh i like the dress but it's just too tight or i feel uncomfortable so make sure that you are really really picky when you're picking dresses like this for this reason because you want them to be comfortable i find that the more comfortable you are the more likely you are to wear the piece and then the less likely it is a waste of money for you so be brutal be brutal honestly like be real ruthless like you know what honestly i feel this slight little discomfort and it's just not worth it like walk away when it comes to clothes especially walk away and save your coins and wait until you find a piece that it's just like no i truly feel immaculate i can move and do what i want in them because you are going to thank yourself in the long run and the first dress that i feel this way in is this meshki dress i get all the questions every time i wear this dress one because it's white that thick ribbed knit <sighs> It gives luxury, it is super comfortable, it is not see-through, and this sits in all the right places, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, it looks fitted, it's giving body, but I also don't feel uncomfortable. Like, I don't have to worry about overeating and looking like I got a food baby in this. Like, this dress sits exactly how it needs to sit at all times. For the airport, I would do this with sneakers. Again, I want comfort, I want to make sure that I can easily get in and out, and I just really don't even like white socks with white sandals, so it just feels like a pass. So again, you're gonna see just a lot of sneakers for that reason. And then I would pair this with the crop jacket, but you could pair this with a cute cardigan or something like that. I personally just haven't found a good cream color jacket or a good oversized like grandpa boyfriend cardigan that I just feel like is worth the money that they're asking for. So that is the reason you're also seeing a lot of the denim jacket. One, it just is classic and it's giving and we look good, I mean, it's serving cool girl like the crop jacket is giving cool girl with the sneakers and the dress but also because i just haven't found like the piece that i'm loving in terms of like a cream color outerwear or just like a a cream color outerwear or a cardigan i just that's also why you're not seeing that as an option but that would totally work here in this case but don't think that you have to stick to neutrals yes i am showing neutral options because i know those are safe those are easy those are going to get a lot of wear but i do challenge you to have fun which is why i want to show you this zara crochet dress 
it's just so fun and this is actually a really great airport outfit like this is an example of you don't have to wear something fitted you don't have to wear something plain and it can be fun and it can be exciting and this dress always gets compliments as well i just love the bold colors this is something like i'm headed to mexico i'm headed to costa rica some place where it's like already tropical already colorful like spain or something like that and I paired it just with some easy sneakers. These are my Nike cream ones. I love these joints. Surprisingly comfortable to walk in all day. Then the return of the crop denim jacket because it's a vibe. Like if you're not gonna do a maxi cardigan, make it a crop jacket, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like that's the secret. That is the secret. But this is such an easy outfit. And again, you're gonna have a lot of coverage. If you're worried about it being see-through, especially wearing like crochet, I totally understand. The secret is just some shapewear. Like I would get some nude shapewear. I literally just have on some like plain nude biker shorts under this because I'm actually not a huge fan of shapewear but I wear just like a nude bra and then some nude biker shorts underneath so that way it gives the illusion of Nikki but you know what we are actually gracing you with a free show because you gotta spend a little money to see that side of JB I'm just saying that ain't something you can see for the free free no 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 then the last dress is this LA dress you have seen this before it is again one of my absolute favorites a little on the pricier side but worth every single penny like it is serving body but the comfort level like i even love to wear this dress just around the house like a good house dress curious are you a house dress girly or what do you normally wear around the house to lounge in let me know in the comments below like what is your go-to house lounge wear but i absolutely love this dress it is so easy to style which is what i love about it again why i totally understand the love for neutrals and the neutral girlies like i get it neutral colors can just feel easier to style and again it's just giving like sleek and chic i paired it with my steve madden sneakers these are just such a fun sneaker they add a bit of a statement because i didn't want the brown to feel boring you know even when i do neutrals or monochrome like i do try to just looking like plain jane so the sneakers i feel like definitely add a little bit of edge a little bit of cool to the outfit then in terms of layering i'm hitting y'all with a plot twist i'm reaching for a brown jacket again i talk about this all the time when i put together monochrome outfits is the mixing and matching of textures that does keep your outfit from being boring when you're wearing one color head to toe so you have the faux leather you have the rib detailing then you have the chunky shoes all of this comes together to keep your outfit from being keep your outfit from being boring but super cool super chic and easy to wear so this is another like city hopping outfit idea so maybe i'm going to chicago maybe i'm headed to seattle maybe i'm headed to atl like this is an outfit where it's like i want to be able to just set my suitcase down and then hit the ground running like i don't need to change i can just go ahead and slay and walk into my destination looking good and put together this next look is going to catch you a little bit off guard, I already know, because you really don't see me wearing fitted rompers and jumpsuits often. Not that I don't love them, I'm still just navigating like how I feel like to wear them in a way that just doesn't feel like it's already kind of been done and chic. So this for me is actually a really fun way, I feel like, for an airport if you want to wear your romper, but look a little bit more elevated than a lot of the other people that you'll see. So starting with this Forever 21 romper that is just so comfortable. I will not lie, whoever is in charge of their like seamless ribbed collection right now is killing it because the fit on this... It is not see-through. It sits right in the right places. Then to make this chic, I went ahead and layered it with this pretty little thing button up as like an oversized dress. I love looks like this where it's almost like, like, is she wearing pants? Like, is that some jams about to come out and grace us? I love finding like tops that end just at like the bottom of like a skirt or a pair of shorts because I just feel like it gives that little bit of edge, that little bit of sexy je ne sais quoi, you know? So that's why I think this pretty little thing, please say, goes so well with the romper go so well with the romper because you're still getting that coverage the sheer button up so you can still see the romper so it's just something different than a basic button up or even throwing on a blazer like not that those don't look nice but there's just something about this that feels really really fun with the sneakers and then to layer this for the airport you could do a denim jacket if you want something chill but i'm reaching for another jacket this one from h and m it's giving cool girl on vacation and what i love about this is it's super breathable i have talked about this before your girl be sweaty so usually you will see me pick tops with like really big sleeves or go sleeveless entirely for that reason so that's why i love this outfit because it's still sleeveless you have the breezy top and then i can add another layer to keep warm on the plane because i feel like a jacket is gonna keep you a little bit warmer than a denim jacket in most cases because you are wearing like shorts in this case you're probably gonna tend to be a little bit colder on the airplane but this is something that you can easily layer look cool and then as soon as you get off the airplane lose the jacket and just be out and ready to go and cute moving into not to say advanced airport outfits but i will say obviously just mixing and matching so just the separate outfit combinations and one of the first ones i really really love 
is a crop tee and some fun wide leg pants. This is usually what I wear to the airport about 99% of the time. Like, your girl on the low is actually a big tee girly. You don't really get to see that side of me super often just because that's like very chillin' in the house, JB, I feel like. But I do make an exception for the airport and this crop top from H&M, I am obsessed. I have it in an extra small. I really wish they had more colors available because I would buy this in every color. It's just so comfortable. Then I paired it with these pants, which I've had from Who What Wear. We aren't gonna talk about it because I'm not proud to have supported her, but the pants were just so cute and I couldn't help myself. And I still stand by these beach pants. Like these are super comfortable and super breathable, which is why I absolutely love them to travel in. Paired with my New Balance sneakers to have a little bit of mixing and matching in the animal print because you know, per. Then for layering again, the crop denim jacket. This for me is just going somewhere fun like NOLA, Miami, some place where the fashion is more fun and more expressive. I just feel like there's gonna be a lot more appreciation showing up to places like that in some animal print versus some other places. But what I love about this too is this is a way to wear like your wide leg pants. You have the comfort of wide leg pants but not the length because we all have been there where you have those cute wide leg pants and you're in the bathroom trying to figure out how to hike up the pants but also use the restroom at the same time and hover over that toilet seat because you cannot touch and like the struggle is real so when i so this is the other reason i put this in like the advanced outfits because i know like this might take a little bit of work depend depending what you need to do in the airport because certain pants certain pants just really aren't made for the airport like i love the girlies who be wearing those wide leg pants that drag on the ground but i'm also like not at the airport though i don't know maybe that's just me but i just be like i will let my pants drag in some places but the airport just is not one of them no the next outfit combination that is worth trying is a cute top and a maxi skirt. Again, bringing it back to kind of the matching set that you saw earlier. So I have this crochet top from H&M, this maxi skirt from Meshki. This is fun, this is breathable, and again, this is super chic and easy, and you can and you can dress it up or down depending on your preference. Again, I personally do sneakers when I'm at the airport. I'm just not a fan of the socks and sandals. I just can't stress that enough. So I have these Sorrel sneakers, which I am totally obsessed with. These are so comfortable worth every penny. They have the funnest color combinations, which make them perfect for a vacation. Hands down, one of my favorite sneakers and definitely making me a colorful sneaker convert because I do feel like you're going to see more colorful sneakers from me in the upcoming season. So what I love about this is this is a more exciting top than the crop top I had before. This is a crochet top. So again, you get that breathability like I talked about if you are somebody who sweats. And you can layer this however you need to. So personally, I would actually layer this with a longer denim jacket just to give kind of cool girl vibe. I feel like because the skirt is so fitted and the top is so fitted, having loose outerwear just adds some balance and some cool girlness that the crop jacket just wasn't going to hit. So this still makes this look feel very polished, but also but also more relaxed like you are headed on a vacation somewhere. Unless I was going on a business trip and really just needed to look professional, I feel like I do tend to try and look like I'm headed somewhere fun and tropical and about to enjoy myself versus trying to look like I'm headed to a nine to five. Last but not least, another option for you. I love me elevated button-ups right now. I am obsessed. If you watch my Instagram reel, you have seen the different button-ups that I feel like you need to have to not have boring style because that's just where I live right now. And this curved hem top, is a moment so paired with just like a really fun pair of shorts makes this such an easy option for the airport it's easy it's breezy you could wear this to a bunch of different places and again you can mix this and match this based on your style if you're not feeling the black if you're not feeling the animal print the outfit combination still stands where it's like a really fun button up some really fun shorts and then some easy sandals like this is something this is something that you'll be able to wear no matter where your getaway destination is and get there in style you know what i mean so i feel like i just wanted to throw this one in there because instead of just like jean shorts i feel like jean shorts aren't really comfortable like i do like these paper bag elastic waist type shorts these are so comfortable to travel in and the material of this too is just like so so breathable so i always recommend just some fun floaty shorts to travel in versus denim because i don't know about you like yeah i could wear denim but it really just isn't the most comfortable for flights for me which is really weird because i will lounge around my house in some of my jeans because they feel that comfortable to me but for a flight for some reason just denim ain't it so so if you are going to a place where you feel like you want to wear shorts consider shorts like this because because these you can mix and match and they're just so easy to wear and they're so comfortable that is it all the airport outfit ideas no matter where you're headed no matter your style i know there was definitely a combination in there for you that's gonna make getting ready for the airport super easy you're gonna be comfortable and get to your destination looking like a baddie and they're all gonna be like hey who is that because i know she ain't from here it's like you right i'm not boo but are equally comfortable because again i cannot stress i love to be comfortable i don't like clothes that don't feel uncomfortable and i know that flying can feel really really difficult finding the right pieces so hopefully this gave you an idea of 
what to look for in the pieces, how to mix and match to come up with different outfits, hopefully using what you already own, but maybe even inspiring you to pick up a piece or two to elevate your airport style so you can get upgraded because I will say on more than one occasion, if I have been waitlisted for first class and they are looking to bump somebody up, your girl has gotten it. And I do want to say it is because of, I mean, I'm usually very, very nice to the staff. My mom used to work at an airport for a long time and I have a friend who works for an airline now. So I am nothing but polite. I have learned that honestly, like you are going to catch more flies with honey. So being polite does help, but also looking good. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. You got some tips and tricks to really help you feel empowered because that's what I want here. I want you to feel good about yourself. And I know that clothes is a huge part of that. Finding pieces that you feel good in, finding pieces that you feel reflect yourself can be such a struggle. So I really hope that when you come here, you are one, finding a safe space, two, finding pieces, and three, just leaving feeling inspired. That's really what I want for you because I really do want you to reach all the goals that you've reached for yourself. Like if I can do it, you can do it. I really cannot stress that enough. So thank you seriously for watching all the way through until the end and stay tuned because I literally have so much more travel content because your girl is, we traveling, we finna be outside and I'm about to be snapping and going crazy. So please, if you haven't hit the like and the subscribe button, you're not gonna wanna miss a video this May, I promise you because the content, the content will be contenting. So thanks for watching all the way into the end and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.